Hello everyone, this is going to be a tutorial on how to take words that you have within your Excel document and creating a word cloud from those words in a PowerPoint document. So you're going to need PowerPoint and Excel on your computer and also just a forewarning because there's no clean way to do this there's going to be multiple steps and a little bit of manual effort on your part. But what we're going to do um, is just start out with um, the assumption that you know the words that you want to use in your word cloud. For the sake of the macros that I have um, that you'll see if you, in the um, later parts of this, we're going to have to use those words or start those words in cell A1. And I'm going to assume that you have 10 words, but you can have up to 100 words given the way I've written the macros. And these words will have different font sizes, likely based on the frequency of their um, appearance within a given body of text. So we're going to assume that word 1 and word 2 happen the most frequently. So we're going to give them a font size of 72. And then we're going to just slowly descend in font sizes as we go along. I'm just randomly selecting numbers here that I think are like fairly common font sizes, but I'm probably wrong on some of these. And we're going to get real small here on word 10, font size 10. Then word clouds oftentimes have different colors for each word. I'm going to achieve that by writing a concatenate function with the ran between function nested within it that's going to give us randomized RGB color schemes which are between the numbers 0 and 255. I already see an error here. I gotta put commas between these. And to do that, I need to tell the concatenate function that I want that to happen. So I have to have quotes around the parentheses between my ran betweens. And my guess is that I missed another comma here. Yep. So I needed a comma behind the ran between to let the concatenate function know, know that I'm starting a new character. The new character is a comma, so I need to put it between quotes and then another comma to start the next ran between. And I need to do that one more time um, for my final ran between 0 to 255 because our RGB color scheme needs three numbers. And I did the same error here, actually. So one more comma, and we finally get the number here. So if you get that error, um, same error message as me, just make sure that you have the same comma scheme. Close parentheses on your RGB or your ran between function. Um, open quote, comma, close quote, comma, ran between again. And then you're going to have to do that same thing between the third ran between function. Now that we have these, we're going to have to get uh, into the VBA code or we're going to create macros actually. Um, but I'm going to make it real easy by dropping the code into the YouTube um, commentary. Um, what you're going to do though is you're going to go to the Developer tab. If you don't have the Developer tab, go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and you'll see Developer here on the right and yours will be unchecked. Just go ahead and check it and hit OK. And when you do that, you should see the Developer tab. Now we're all going to go to the Developer tab and we're going to hit Macros and we're going to choose the name Change Font. In this case, uh, you, you can make it whatever you want, just make sure it's one singular word. Um, you'll hit Create and then between the sub and the end sub, you're going to grab this short snippet of code that I'm going to put in the YouTube um, note section. Control V and then hit play. You're going to hit end on this uh, this error message and that, that's occurring because we have the ran between function going so it's just constantly trying to re um, redo that macro I believe is what's causing that. And you'll see that we're going to get different word colors and sizes based on what we put in column B and C. Now this is one extra step that's uh, going to make our life a little easier later on. We're going to go to um, let's see the page layout tab, 
and we're going to uncheck the view grid lines so that we have a completely um, blank background. Again, that's going to make this next step a little easier where we go back to the developer tab, go back to macros, hit um, in this macro name, hit delete, and we're going to create a new macro called create cloud, all one word. Again, whatever you want, but just make sure it's one word. Hit create, and you're going to get this new sub and sub section down here. You're going to grab this next snippet of code that's a lot longer in the YouTube um, comment section. Hit copy, hit paste, and now you're going to run this as well by hitting play. When you do this, you're going to open up your PowerPoint and you're going to see those words get dropped in as images, as, as one singular image. Here's where the manual part comes in. We're going to right click on the, the words that we have here. We're going to go to the group um, message here and we're going to ungroup. It's going to give us a message, message where we hit yes. And then we can move around the individual words. And to make it look like a traditional word cloud, you can just play with the orientation of the given words and as well as their position here. Hope I keep grabbing the wrong thing. And you can obviously spend a little more dedicated time on this, but you'll get the point here on the manual effort this is going to require since there's not a clean way to do this. Just go right click here. And we can delete this default thing. So again, not the prettiest word cloud that I have here because I, I rushed through this during the tutorial, but you can spend a little more time to randomize where you put these and the orientation of the words. But this is the best way I found and the most um, non-labor intensive way to create this using Excel. Um, so hopefully this helps out. If not, I believe there's some um, websites out there that will help create these naturally. But this is the best way, again, that I found using Excel and PowerPoint. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helped.